Hey guys, Dr. Sam here, helping you get closer to great skin days. Today's topic is customization of your actives, which I think is particularly pertinent in winter, where day after day I'm seeing patients coming in with what I would call a dry, flaky muzzle zone. That's basically the skin around the mouth. And the reason behind that is that you have thicker skin merging with thinner skin as we get closer and closer to the lips. But of course, that's also an area that's subject to stretching and straining over the course of the day as you eat and talk and kiss. So how do you manage actives in order to keep a habit going through the challenges of winter skin with cold air and low humidity and wind, but yet to be sympathetic to the needs of this more delicate area that's constantly under movement. So I've got five tips to share with you today. So step number one is to apply moisturizer first before your actives. And that can be morning or nighttime, particularly if you're using retinoids. Now, given that the jawline and chin are common sites for breakouts in adulthood, it's very important that we try and find ways to maintain compliance even through winter. And moisturizer first is a key way to enable this to happen. It won't stop your actives from working, guys. Step number two on the subject of moisturizer, up the ante and use a richer product than you would normally use, particularly at night where the cosmetic finish on your skin is less important. Don't be concerned that heavier equals more breakouts. If you seek out products that are non-clogging or non-comedogenic and enriched with niacinamide, looking for five to 10%, you'll be grand. Step number three is to tailor the dose of your active to suit the skin's needs. So if I was dry here, but I was my skin was normal or oily here, I might use the product straight out of the pot, neat, three dots, three dots, if we're kind of using my 13 dot technique. But for this area, I might take the product straight from the pot and mix it with an equal amount of bland moisturizer, it contains no actives, to drop the strength by 50%. And that's a way to customize it so that it's gentler on your skin. Step number four, know when your skin needs a day off. It's completely acceptable to reduce the frequency of your actives down to an alternate day basis or even every third day, depending on how accepting it is of your actives regime. Final step is to simplify if you're still struggling. Too many people are using too many actives in rotation. And I think that this is a big part of the problem. The skin only has finite space for actives, especially if you're on the drier end of the spectrum. So focus on the one active that makes the biggest difference, finesse that before adding a second or even a third active in, it'll be so much simpler for you. So there you have it, my five top tips to customizing your actives at a time of year that can be quite challenging. As a final note, I would suggest backing off on makeup if you are experiencing dryness around the mouth. It just won't sit nicely. Better to leave your skin bare so you can moisturize through the day when you need to. So guys, I hope that was helpful. If it was, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you back here soon for more. Bye for now.